morning, happy travelers. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, Kevin and I are driving from our home in Los Angeles up north of San Francisco. We're gonna be having some adventures up there. But on our way, since it is springtime here in California, we found these amazing groves of almond blossoms near the Bakersfield area. So we decided to stop and take a few photos because this is so gorgeous, how could you not, right? A quick five hour drive later and we're in San Francisco. Well, we made it to our hotel room. We are north of San Francisco in a place called Mill Valley, California. We're staying here tonight because tomorrow we're going to Point Reyes National Seashore and Muir Woods, which are right near here. So we're gonna pick up this video tomorrow because we're not gonna do anything that interesting tonight. So we'll see you then. Good morning. Today we are going to check out Muir Woods and Point Reyes National Seashore before heading up to Napa Valley. That's a tongue twister. Point, Point Reyes National Seashore. We're going to be having some nature adventures today. Uh, we do have to make a reservation for Muir Woods and you have to pay for parking just because of COVID. Um, so hopefully we can get one of those because we did not plan ahead. Let's do it. Have a reservation for Mer <laughs> for Mer Woods. <laughs> Mer Mer <laughs> <laughs> we have a reservation for Muir Woods, and we're gonna set off for a nature adventure. So we went online and got our reservations. It's 8.50 to park at Muir Woods. There's also a $15 fee to get in, unless you are an annual pass holder of the national parks, which we are. So it's free for us. Well, technically not free. It was $80 a year, but. Well worth it. Okay, we made it to the Muir Woods parking lot. We're gonna head over to the visitor center and do a little hiking now. As per federal mandate, you have to wear a mask on federal property if social distancing can't be maintained. I'm gonna confirm with the park ranger to see if there's any times we could take it off, like if we're taking pictures or anything. And if she says no, I will keep it on even for pictures. It looks like the main trail has a boardwalk. I don't know if the whole thing is boardwalked or what, we will find out. There are lots of side trails going off in each direction if you wanna do more hiking or see more things. But the main trail is where the main groves of redwoods are, which is the main attraction here at Muir Woods National Monument. Also, I asked the park ranger about the masks. Um, she said it's really empty today, so if we're taking photos and I wanna pop it off for just a second for the photo, that's okay, but generally I should keep it on, um, which I plan on doing, even though there's really nobody around, just to follow the rules. But she said like just for a couple seconds for that, it's, it's okay as long as there's no one around. So you might see some of those on Instagram.
These trees are huge. Every time I come to the Redwoods, I'm pretty amazed. They are definitely worth a trip if you ever make it up to this area. We decided to take a side trail that kind of parallels the main trail, but it's called Hillside. There's nobody on this trail. There aren't that many people here today, maybe a dozen other people, but still, we like to have it all to ourselves. So I think we've walked more than a mile and now we're back on the main trail again, heading back towards the visitor center. So it's gonna end up being a couple miles, so that's a pretty good hike. The main trail is very flat. It is very accessible. You can take a stroller or a wheelchair on it, no problem. You might have a little bit of trouble with the side trails, but main trail, good for everyone. Just a short drive down the road from Muir Woods, we have come to the Muir Beach Overlook which is this really cool little pull-off that has an amazing view of the coastline. There's some little hiking trails. So we decided to stop and just go check those out real quick. There's also some old military bunkers from World War II, things that were used to defend San Francisco Bay at that time. We're getting pretty hungry, so I think it's time to get some lunch. I'm not sure if we're really gonna find anything around here, but we did pack a couple little things just in case we came into the situation. The less glamorous side of traveling. Eating ramen in the car. We just entered the area of the Point Reyes National Seashore. All of this area is north of San Francisco. It's definitely worth a drive if you like really cool coastlines. It's been beautiful so far. There are some sleepy um, coastal towns. Yeah, there's no cell phone service up here, so being so close to the city but being able to kind of get out into the wilderness is really cool. Definitely a very cool day trip from San Francisco. We made it to the Point Reyes National Seashore. We're in a tiny, tiny little town called Inverness. There's a shipwreck over here that I'm sure you've seen on the internet, Instagram or something before, but we're gonna go check it out. It looks like this boat's been here for a while. Part of it's burned a little bit, but if you look inside, you can still see where there's the engine and some of the compartments. It's really pretty cool. I've seen photos of this quite a bit on the internet, but I didn't know it was right in this spot. Pretty excited to find it. The drive down this part of the coast has been really nice so far. There's a couple small farms, but there really isn't much development. We've now reached the parking for the Point Reyes Lighthouse, and the views from here are just absolutely beautiful. You get this long, sprawling view of the beach. On the other side, there's some sea lion habitat. It's, it's pretty, pretty cool down here. And we didn't have to pay a fee or anything to come in here, which is really cool too. The Point Reyes National Seashore is a really huge area to explore and I think we've done a pretty good job of exploring a lot of it. We stopped at the Cypress Tree Tunnel which is pretty famous on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen it. Uh, we we're trying to take some photos but the light has kind of deteriorated as the day has gone on so it's not 100% awesome. I guess we'll have to come back here and there were also some TikTok dancers who we knew we were going <laughs> we to be there for hours so we're like eh. Let's go, uh, let's go drink some wine in Napa. What do you think? <laughs> Sounds good today. I'm, I'm here for it, I'm ready. We finally made it to Napa, yay! After a full day of exploring, I'm really excited that we checked into our B&B. It's kind of like this boutique 
little hotel kind of thing. Super cute. And guess what? We got upgraded. You know that we love a good upgrade, but we're going to show you that in tomorrow's video. So you'll have to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next video and catch the tour of this very, very cute cottage. So that's all for tonight, guys. We hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and we will see you back in Napa tomorrow. This is Kelly from the Aqua Tourists. Peace out. Focused on us? Yeah. Okay. There's a very loud bug. What the? <laughs> and a quick five hour drive later. And do, 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 what else do I want to say? <laughs> Nature adventure. I think I say it sounds stupid. <laughs>